It's that Grizzly 9972Z. Uh, 11 by 26 on the size there. But the, the project the project for the present is uh, a push rod for that three horsepower over there. This is rusted, and I've got another three horsepower that one of these are missing. So I'm going to take the opportunity to make one of these. 7 sixteenths is a you know, normal size on that right there. I don't know what the original metal is, you know, something like a 1018 or something. And it's threaded there on the end, and then it's got a, a milling machine flat on it right there. It's got a milled flat on it there, probably done on the milling machine. But it's rusted, still usable, and I probably will use it on the other engine, but on the one that we're, the Doug Thornhill engine here, uh, I'm going to make a new one and put on that engine. This... This ain't it. <clears throat> but with that said, it's a, it's a 718 um, it's a 716 20 thread. So I thought I'd just go ahead and make two of them. So, this is, uh, that's a 8620 steel. Uh, you know, if you read about it in the book, I think I laid this in for McMaster Carr one time. But, if you read about the specs on this 8620, uh, it's got some good properties. Uh, it's not very expensive either. It's a, but you, you can hammer on it and shape it, you know what I mean? It, it, it'll form pretty good. You, you can bend it in all kinds of shapes, and, and and then you can weld it extremely well. Some project I was working on, this was a leftover. So we're going to cut us a thread on here. And, uh, you, you know, it's just standard thread. I mean, if you're taking notes, it's if you put the thread gauge in there, it's a, it's a number 20 on that teeth. 20 teeth to the inch and uh, it's a 7 sixteenths and this right here is a couple of thousandths oversized but I, I want to leave that onto the shaft uh, to compensate for a worn guide up on the rocker up on the exhaust ro uh, rocker arm end but with that said <clears throat> the uh, check that out, and then, and then I got that little fishing thing right there. Yeah, it's a start. Uh, Leroy made that. Well, you know what it is. Uh, but anyways, I put it on there like that, and I and I run this down there like that right there, and I run that in there like that right there, and everything lined up. So, uh, you know, everything's true and perpendicular and plumb and all that right there, and everything is tight. Uh, done done it once, so we're gonna do it again. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn the threads up about right there. You know they don't need to be measuring on it. You know, uh, going by this and right here. You know if you lay it up there like that right there, then if you turn it up there about right there, you'll be all right. So yeah, it passed right there. So and and I may turn it a little bit longer than you know face it off real nice. You know. I mean, I have that opportunity to do a little extra length there. But, and that tool holder right there, that, that that's one of them insert uh, thread uh, little bit there. And the holder, you know, I couldn't quote you no brand, brand on it because, you know, it was a, well, it does say something on it there. We'll see about it. It's a really good one. I like it. Uh, grizzly tools on that tool post holder there. It served me well up to now. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to thread that about right there. <clears throat> and uh, when we get down there close, we, we'll we'll check it with the nut and make a... <clears throat> <clears throat> we might try to get a good fit on it.
seven seven sixteenths twenty on that thread there. Oh yeah. Pay the lady at the front counter as you go out. Now let's finish up this job. Oh yeah, I better check the whole thing. Oh yeah, we're good to go. Just thinking out loud, just a few minutes ago, this right here was a piece of old steel leaned up in the corner over there in the wall. Now, it's a push rod for exhaust valve on a three horsepower international limb. Yeah, that's what I made today. Uh, you know, most days, that's about good as I can get. But I also can see that 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 that, that cutter bit right there had a little, it had a little nick in it. They put a little, put a little thing in that right there. That's the new one. This is the old one we used as a copper. 
Oh yeah. That's what I made today. This the size for a three horsepower. Top end. Turned out real nice. Uh, all, all the metrics, everything come out. And, and this, this collar you know, goes on here like this, right there in that thing. And, and then a set screw goes there, we'll have to get us another one. But uh, the, uh, and, and this part goes, this part's already been cleaned up, but. And then when you get it in to adjust the correct length, uh, this flat will be down. And, and then there's a set screw underneath the bottom of that that will lock onto that flat right there. But that's what I made today. A push rod for a three horsepower international type M.